to Chit Chat today. So today I wanted to do a get ready with me video using this palette that I just recently picked up. It is so good. <laughs> so good. The Anastasia Modern Modern Renaissance palette. Ugh. Mm. It's so freaking good. You just can't go wrong with this thing. So I wanted to use it. I've been playing around with it this week. I've used every shadow except for one shadow in there. Just trying to create different types of color combinations and stuff. And I decided to do this kind of color combination for you to play off of my cute little kimono. It's actually a swimsuit cover-up. Um, but I'm wearing it today as kind of like a kimono. And um, I bought it to go with my swimsuit. But now that I got it, it like looked different colors online than it did in person so now I'm thinking I need a swimsuit like this color anyways I digress I wanted to kind of play off of that just because of this is the outfit that I wanted to wear today and yeah so I thought we'd just do a chit chat get ready with me if you guys are new and just stopping by for a tutorial on this palette because you're debating buying it no need to fret you need to buy it eventually it's permanent don't fret that it's per limited edition because I hate limited edition stuff because I feel like you have to go out and buy it right now even though you may not have saved money for it or whatever then you feel like you're gonna miss out and you get FOMO and you end up buying it anyways. But I decided to play with this this week and create a look for you guys. So if you're new, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. Um, it's Chit Chat Day. I just sit down and shoot the breeze and chit chat. And I'm not going to give you a long intro because I'm sure this video is already going to be a good 20 minute -er. And that's kind of how I roll here on my channel. I'm not good at making things short because I talk way too much. So we're just going to roll right on into it. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy the look. So I've been rocking truly the no makeup look. Not like no makeup makeup, like legit no makeup look for about the past month so I haven't sat down actually for a while <laughs> and had access to all of my makeup and gotten ready with you guys and so I'm really excited about this I'm excited just to put makeup on and I'm excited to do a get ready with me because I haven't done one of these in so long so we're going to start off with the cover effects anti-aging primer even though we are down in a very humid climate I don't know my skin still is in need of moisture and I like this primer because it's hydrating. It's a little bit greasy feeling kind of, not like a slight, sorry here, I'm trying to get my forehead wrinkles covered. It has a slight silicone feel to it, but it really works well to fill in all those little fine lines I got. I'm going to be using the Perfect Reveal Lift Foundation by Dolce & Gabbana. This has SPF of 25 in it. Um, I did a full demo and review on this a while back, I think last year. Um, so this is my summer shade. I'm in the shade Bronze 144, I believe. Yes. And I'm not even that tan yet. And I was, I haven't even gotten around to self-tanning. And I'm not quite sure if it's going to happen this year or not. Just not really feeling it. Um, I don't know. Just I, I used to, for the past couple summers, completely self-tan for months. Now I'm just kind of feeling kind of like not keeping up with it. Just because it's such high maintenance, you know? And I'm using the Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush Brush Number 56 because I recently moved. Um, if you missed that update video, I'll link that below or it's on my channel. Um, it's just a life update video as to why things look different. Um, so I recently moved and before moving, I washed all of my brushes. So I have all clean brushes and uh, it actually is really nice to have all clean brushes because you actually have options just really don't enjoy cleaning my brushes but I decided to pull this brush out I had bought this for foundation at oh goodness probably about almost three years ago now I don't know I just wanted to try something different today just in general this foundation has such a really really pretty finish it looks very natural, but just with a soft satin-like glow, so it really just mimics skin. I am going to put just a little bit more on. See, now that we're in summer, I really don't like a lot of makeup because outside it just looks so cakey and gross. So I've actually been enjoying a little bit lighter coverage, despite not liking to see my zits poking through. But this is really buildable, and I don't really find that this foundation ever gets cakey looking. It's just, the finish on it is just so skin-like and gorgeous. I've been using the Anastasia Brow Definer and really, really liking it for my brows lately. Um, I'm almost out of the Brow Wiz. I have just a little bit left. The Brow Wiz I like to use in conjunction with it just because I like to have two different colors. 
I will always repurchase both of these items just because I found that they really work well for me. I have the shade Soft Brown and this is Chocolate. So this is a little bit warmer. So I'm going to do my brows off camera because as you can see, I don't have a lot of brows and it is a very tedious task to get them to look like at least cousins, some long distant relatives to each other. Um, and filling them in is just really boring to watch. So I'll be back. And then I primed my eyes with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So we are ready to rock for the next thing, which is this. Um, the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I've been playing with this palette since the day that I got it. I've used every single shade except for Real Gar. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do today, but this palette is beautiful. They're so creamy, so buttery, blend really well. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it's permanent too, guys, so you don't have to rush out and get it, but just add this to your wish list because it truly is a great palette. I'm going to start with this matte cream shade, actually, and I'm going to put that all over my lid here. And the thing is, is this matte cream shade is actually really pigmented. I forgot to zoom you guys in. Hold up. I'm going to take the shade Golden Ochre. This is a really poopy color, but it's a great transition shade because it doesn't show up as too much of anything like it's not too brown it's not too warm it's not too cool it's just a great throw in your crease kind of color so we're going to start here and if you haven't noticed i moved my room around again because the lighting with my camera coming at me wasn't working because my umbrella lights are not like a powerful enough light uh, to balance out the light coming in from behind me and my coloring was getting too yellow and I couldn't really fix it and I'm not an expert guys I have no idea about lighting I just sit down and put it on auto and hope for the best like every single time uh, so much anxiety really and so I decided you know what I know what works for me and so I'm not facing the windows anymore I'm in the opposite corner of my room and I need it to be conducive for me to get ready even when I'm not filming you know what I mean like I can't just set it up for filming purposes and then on a day-to-day -day basis to do my makeup be facing the dark or be facing the wrong direction or whatever. So this is working, I think. You'll have to let me know if this is working. Now I'm going to take a Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. It's kind of like a MAC 217 but not as thick, a little bit thinner and the bristles are longer. And I have no idea what I'm going to do. I. I've been watching like a lot of tutorials with this and I didn't want to do what everybody else is doing um, because I just don't like to follow the crowd that way and plus I want to give you guys something different and so I've been playing around with it creating different types of looks some of them I liked others were just like complete and utter crap um, so let's go in with raw sienna I just want to do a really neutral crease and then like a pop of color like I don't want to do too much of the red colors today Just because this color, I want to show you that just because this palette has a lot of those like mulberry and red type shades in it, you don't need to be afraid of it because you can still create a really neutral look with just a hint of the color. I know I used to be afraid of like these, these types of colors. I'm like, how in the world am I going to be able to wear that? And you can because you can really blend it out. So it's just like a little bit of color kind of thing. These shadows are really soft and they do pick up a lot of product when you dip your brush into them so you don't need to really do very much pressure at all and then I would definitely recommend tapping your brush off so you don't end up with too much shadow. I'm notorious for ending up with too much of anything. I'm going to take the Venetian Red which is this color right here. It has a little bit, it's not like a brown red, it's more like a burgundy red. And I'm going to start to just kind of tap that in my outer V area here. Okay, I'm not going to use this brush. I'm going to use a big, I need a little bit bigger brush. I'm going to take the Hockey Hodo GSN 9. I'm going to use that little blending brush. I'm going to go back in with that and blend this. But I'm just going to tap right now. I'm just using like really light pressure. And just blending out the edges of that. 
softening it. Then I'm going to go back in with the Zoeva that we used. What color did we use? We used raw sienna, right? I don't know, girlfriends. We're going in with raw sienna. I'm just going to deepen this up a little bit more. All right, then we're going to do one last thing here. We're going to take red ochre with a pencil brush. It's like it really picks up a lot of product. Tap it off right in the crease here I'm gonna deepen it up a little bit more after I apply my liner and lashes I might deepen it up even more just because I feel like once you kind of see the finished look you can see where you want to add in a little bit more depth if necessary just taking a little bit of this love letter this color right here this matte pink shade and just kind of using it to ombre the light with the dark. Just, I just flipped my brush over. I'm just kind of softly patting and like shimmying. <laughs> my technical words are not technical because I'm not quite sure what the technical terms are. Now I'm going to take the Kat Von Du Tattoo, Kat Von Du, Kat Von Du, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And let's see. I think I'm going to do my usual, gosh, this foundation is beautiful. I'm going to do my usual, like, not cat eye. I don't think I look good with a huge wing, nor does I, do I think it looks that, I personally don't like it on me for daytime, especially. I just think it's a bit much. So, I want to do, I like to do just a little bit, just because I feel like a little flick kind of, like, makes your eyes and, like, brings them up a little bit, but not in, like, a drastic way. So... Go for the wing girl if it look if you love it. I myself just am not sure if I love it. My wings are not perfect today. I haven't worn wing liner in like a month, so I clearly forgot how to apply them. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of mascara. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Mascara. It is waterproof. I love this mascara in the normal version. I've never tried this waterproof one, so we'll see. I'm not going to be going swimming today, but I will be doing a lot more swimming or beach laying or beach going this summer, being the fact that we actually live, you know, near beach. I love the wand. I forgot how good this is. Every time I get one of these, I always forget how much I really like it. It's got so many cool looking little bristles that for my short straight lashes, it really grabs them. I'm going to be applying the Red Cherry number 43 lashes. They're just great. This is the little box that they come in. I order mine in, a, usually it's a five set of five or so off of Amazon. I don't know where else you can get them. Like, I don't know if you can get them in the store or not. The first time I wore these, I thought they were huge, and now these are like my more natural daytime ones. It's funny how that works, isn't it? It's like when you first start wearing makeup, you know, you put on, like, hindsight, not very much, but at the time you think it's a lot. Or you start with one bronzer, and you think, who in the world would ever own more than one? Before you know it, you got 15. Alright, so I'm going to finish my under, like my lower lash and stuff after I do my concealer. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to use a damp beauty blender to blend out my concealer just because that's the only thing that works for me. And the Double Wear, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer in the shade Medium. This is a little dark. But I have another product that I'm going to kind of layer over this. Well, actually, this works. It's just a little darker than what I normally use under my eyes. But I had bought this um, a couple summers ago. So it's probably way bad old. I know some of you are freaking out. Um, it hasn't hurt me. So I just want to try to use it up. It's a great concealer. Full coverage. Okay. And not cakey if you blend it out with a damp beauty blender. 
and it stays all day. I find it to be a really beautiful concealer. This is what I'm talking about, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Brightener. I've been using this as like a cream highlight situation and it'll just kind of brighten up everything here. I need to get a couple more of the, or a couple of the MAC Radiant Rose Prep and Prime highlighters. I ran out a long time ago and I never repurchased them. This is a similar color and similar idea. The consistency of the MAC one I like better. This is more, this one's Maybelline one here is more of a drier formula. Okay, I'm gonna set my face, not my face, my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I'm gonna bronze up with the um, Chanel Cream Bronzer. Totally into this, very natural looking. Um, it helps you maintain like, I don't know, it just looks so natural. It blends really well. It's not a powder, which I like. I don't like to put on a bunch of powder if I'm gonna wear makeup in the summer because it's just too much. And if you have a large forehead like me, bring this bronzer down because it'll give your forehead some shadow. And I mean, you wanna leave the center open where we highlighted but it'll give your face some shadow and give, make it look smaller than it is. And yeah, I have bangs, but I'm talking when the wind blows. I've been doing a little bit of contouring, nothing crazy. This is Max Harmony. Um, it's matte. It's a, it's a blush, but it's, it's something I would use for contouring. I'm going to use this, the Small Contour by Sigma. And I only do like back here and not all the way down. I do it like this far down. I just like the color of this Harmony. It, it would be really pretty as a blush, just like a nude color. My favorite pencil brush, where are you? can't find it so I'm going to use this the smudge brush by uh, Sigma E21 it's really small and it works great for smudging I'm going to start with ooh, I'm gonna start with what colors did I use? I'm gonna take a little bit bit of a Venetian red or no Venetian red red ochre next door to Venetian red and bring this along my lower lash line just to kind of marry the colors from up top to down below dipping into that brown color we used the raw sienna our transition shade and just kind of softening the red and putting it on top of the red freaking love this thing and then i'm just going to pop a little bit of that pink color in our lid down here, mascara, the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash for my lower lash line is the best thing ever. And since pretty much the entire look is matte, I'm going to do a little bit of sparkle. This Vermeer shade, I'm going to put it in my inner corner. I need some blush. I'm going to use the, um, I couldn't decide. <laughs> I know I want to do something peachy, but I've decided I'm going to do the Zoeva Love Lux, or Lux Color Blush in the shade Shy Beauty. It's a matte, really beautiful peach shade. And I'm going to grab, you need this brush, Morphe E4, the best blush brush ever. And it's so inexpensive, and I'm not affiliated with them. It's just fabulous. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm supposed to be doing this, not, not this. I have a habit of doing the wrong thing. And then I wonder why my blush looks so odd and randomly placed. Blush is beautiful. I have a couple of them by Zoeva. And I think they're all matte. I love a matte blush because I feel it's more versatile. The camera shut off on me. It's like, girl, you talk way too much. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, I finished my blush and for the highlighter today I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors 
baked highlighter. It's going to give us like a peachy glow. It's called peach glow. <laughs> it's a really pretty one. Um, I like a peachy highlighter. I'm going to use, I'm going to use this brush. This is the Wayne Goss number two. This is a beautiful, beautiful brush. It's a little misshapen because I washed it and like I said, I washed all my brushes and I get a little careless towards the end and you know, you just want to get things done. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful highlighter. This is one of those highlighters that oh, there's like lots of color in it. It's kind of like baked, you see. And there's other ones. I think there's like a pinky one, more of like a bronzy one. This peach one is just beautiful. So I'm going to start off with the uh, Marc Jacobs Primrose little lip liner. This came in that nudes kit, but I have this also in the full size because I like this color. Yeah, this lip liner color is just stunning. And this is a perfect size for your purse. So I have a couple options. I love this one by Mally. It's her lip magnifiers. It's in the chubby pencil form. This one's called Peachy Keen. I need to sharpen it, but it looks like that. It's a great peach color. It's really bright. Um, then I have one here by Maybelline called Peach Poppy. This is a beautiful peach shade. Very similar. Maybe a slightly not as opaque, so it'll be a little bit more sheer. And the other one I really like is by L'Oreal, and this is their uh, Color Reach line number 176 Sunset Angora. This is more like balmy, and it gives a little bit of a shine to the lips. This one's a little deeper in tone. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off with this one. Oh, that's pretty. Are there any other colors in this formula that I need? Because I just have the one. And I think I'm just going to kind of Make it a little more like a stain. Ooh, I like that. Now I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna take just a little bit of the Maybelline one and just kind of put it in the center. Now I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna take this Paracone MD Chia Serum just to kind of finish off the glowiness of my makeup. This is a product that you can use. Um, I use it as an overnight serum. You can use it in conjunction with like other moisturizers you have. You can use it just by itself. But another neat thing about this product is that you can take a little bit of it on your fingers and just kind of like dab it on your skin to give your skin just that youthful glow. Um, so I'm going to do that today just because I've never done it that way and I wanted to try it. So I thought let's just... So here's the dropper. It's a serum. It's, it's kind of thick and it smells amazing. Little goes a very long way so I'm just going to put a little bit in my fingers like this. That would also be really pretty like on your decollete. But I'm just going to kind of dab it. Oh that's pretty. It also just kind of like gets rid of any powdery look. Ooh that's really pretty. Maybe just a little down here too. Just doesn't make you look like you're wearing makeup. It just makes your skin so glowy. I'm not gonna put any up here just because I don't want to get it in my hair. Ooh, I like that a lot. I mean, I love this serum by itself. I use it all the time, but it says right on the bottle, use it as a makeup topper, and I didn't ever even think about about that. So this is it, guys. This is the finished look. I think it turned out really pretty. I'm smitten with this palette. I definitely give it a giant stamp of approval. I have two of her other palettes, I think, or maybe just one. No, I have two. I have two of her other palettes, and I love those as well, but the formulation on these is just impeccable. I use most of the mattes today, and I don't know, they blend so well, and mattes can be very tricky, um, but they freaking nailed the formula in this. So add this to your wish list because it's not limited edition. You don't have to run out and get it. Thank goodness. I hate limited edition stuff, especially when it's good. You know what I mean? So give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. I'm going to try to do more get ready with me videos like every Saturday or at least twice a month. Um, just because I feel like chit chatter day is that's what this should be is let's just sit down and chit chat about what we're going to do for the week. You know what I mean? 
or catch you guys up with what I've been doing for the week and just whatever. You know what I mean? Just kind of fly by the seat of my pants. I like to give myself the freedom for at least one video to just ramble on and on about nonsense and have it be okay. You know? So, um, we are going to go to the beach tomorrow, so you'll have heard about that in yesterday's video because tomorrow we're going to the beach. And I'm filming this ahead of time because I won't have any other days in the week to film because we're going to the beach. Yes. So, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're new, please subscribe. I would love to have you guys stay around, and we'll chit-chat soon.